when we have conversations with our customers or with people around cloud, we often hear it's too expensive. We often hear that there's a lot of waste that's happening in the cloud. And I would agree with both of those statements. If you don't have a really well thought out FinOps strategy, it probably is too expensive. In fact, the market says that you're probably wasting 32% of your spend in the cloud if you're not doing it with proper FinOps in mind. So how do you not waste that 32% in the cloud? Well, first you start off with a proper governance strategy. How are you handling cloud governance? Do you have a cloud center of excellence in your organization? What are all the aspects of a cloud center of excellence that you might need in order to make your cloud journey productive? These are some of the things that you've got to get answers to. It includes a proper FinOps approach. It includes a proper architecture strategy. It includes your ability to work cross silo with your organization. So when you're talking about your governance strategy, FinOps is a major component of that. What does that mean? It's financial operations in your environment how to best spend and allocate your resources that are limited. When you're approaching FinOps, you gotta recognize that there are multiple interested parties in the organization as it relates to FinOps, and they all have to work in unison to achieve the goal of saving money and allocating resources properly in your cloud journey. Your developers need to produce a product or code. They need a place for it to land. They are less interested in how the architecture is built to make sure that it's efficiently running. Your IT team is looking to efficiently build the infrastructure that the developers are coding on. Accounts payable in your purchasing department is looking at the best possible savings that they can get. What are the contracts that matter most to them? And how can I get the best possible deal on those contracts? And then your executive team is interested in positioning the products and cloud usage as a cost savings overall to the business. Now, how do you determine which of the things in cloud are applicable for your workload? If you have a well-formulated architecture and understand the workload, you're gonna position it either on-premise or in the cloud according to best practices. Last of all, when this journey is going on, most people think of security as an afterthought. We need to include security from the beginning of your journey all the way through to the end of your journey. Security from the perspective of identity access management, uh, who has access to which documents and files, how is my data secured, what am I using my data for, and how can I move forward with the best possible security posture to avoid malicious actors from taking advantage of my environment.